Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Wood Spoonie are back for another NBA 2K Sports. Now this is game number 10 as we're about to be seeing the number West Eastern and Western Conference Showdown. This one is going to be another amazing matchup that we've got so much to take with this rival match to have it all coming into part of the week. And as of right now, this is what we are all calling for. It's in between Minnesota Timberwolves and Orlando Magic. Now, the Orlando Magic I might be climbing into the playoffs right in this spot, but hopefully on that occasion, they're going to have to try to see what they can do to try to keep up their level strike. You know this idea, because this really needs to keep this all in one's motion. To go right in between the zones, in between the Minnesota and Orlando. We're not sure who will take, but this team from Minnesota Wolves are in the first place in the Western Conference. And right now, Orlando Magic are stuck in between fourth and fifth position. Well, we are not even sure of how well they're going to do. Well, you may never know of how this is going to happen. Well, here they are. The starting lineups are in between as follows. Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards, Jalen McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, or Cuts for short, and the tall man of Rudy Gobert. For the Orlando Magic, we have his Anthony Black, Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, Paolo Banchero, and Wendell Carter Jr. Now it's time to send you over to Amway Center in Orlando, Florida, standing by its fine. And this time, I have another commentary to bring things in between the two. A cool feist, and finally, the obvious silver spoon. We'll be back with the halftime with the post game show, and the halftime report will be Irvin Johnson, Shaq, and Connie DeJet Smith. Now, let's get you started right here on 2K Sports. See you later, everybody, in game time. And this one comes down right away. Orlando and City. We've got a great matchup in between of Magic and the Wolves. Greetings from Amway Center, fan here along with Silver Spoon and Cool Beast. This is NBA on 2K Sports. And Alan the Force is on the sideline right ahead. For our game matchups, in between of those two, we're looking to see who gets the next game win in between. Now, they have been playing it a long time, but this was a lot of frustration to put a breakdown in between of the Timberwolves and the matchup. They're looking like they're having a little bit of a trouble in between of the situation runs. What do you guys think of how that happened? Well, I'm pretty sure now. They might be getting a lot that harder at this point. Because they have been losing a lot of games lately for the Orlando Magic, and they are really are into a stepping trouble. Because at that time, they won. The Timberwolves win their game against the Magic of this Orlando, and this was a frustration that they have done playing this again. And it looks like now, it might be one way to try to take him out. What a great block by Rudy Gobert! That will be a first block of the night. You know, I can't really say how much this is happening right now because Rudy Gobert. Really got a great block of it. Now, here's Benchero. Six on the shot clock. Towns on the cover. And an offensive foul will be taken on Alex Black. That will be his first personal foul. And a turnover will be released to the Minnesota Ball. Oh, uh, that turned it over too quickly out there. You know what happened? Because that problem happened, because if Anthony Black was making a screen, he definitely moved. That caused him to get an offensive foul at this point. Here's Conley on the outside, Kevin back to Towns. 6.30 left to start. Edwards finding it to McDaniels for three. First three-pointer missed the mark. Rebound puts up by Vachero for Orlando. Here's Suggs, he'll start to win, and the first foul falls on Minnesota. Anthony Edwards with his first personal and a first team foul. Now I never know what Jalen Suggs does 
because if a dry turns out, he's got to go big. Yeah, I never saw that one coming here, but you know what? This happens because they're really like a bad big angle, and I can't tell you now that Jalen Suggs really have to come up with that good strength. Free throws coming up here for Orlando Magic for the first trip to the free throw line, shooting two. 6.17 on the clock remains in the first period. First free throw sent in for Jalen Sucks. Now, I never know what Jalen Sucks does because this was a lot of a hard one that he has been trying to keep him lately into the game. How does it really happen there, guys? Well, I never know because of Jalen Sucks, he was really been turning things over into it lately. And then when he definitely had to help the encouragement out without Obama and Jonathan Isaac, it might be one thing to like, keep that one in mind. While their last season was a bit of a win, they really are looking for a narrow chance to take the win here at the home games. Well, I'm not really sure how this is going to happen, because they might be on a tough range. Can't really say how much it is, but you never know when it comes out. Gobert, try to push him down. Edwards back on Conley. With the win on Orlando Magic, he only had received 80, 28 points, 11 out of 19, and 5 assists and a run. He's got great skills out there, because Mike Conley is the ultimate guy you cannot mess up on. And I never saw how this one comes on, because they are looking like they wanted to do it all over again. Here's Benchero on Towns, finds Black, 5.37 to go, 6 and a shot clock, Suns for 3, and he makes that in. That will be the first, first three-pointer of the night for Orlando. Now they're coming along that great, I mean, you got to make that credit out there if you want to go for another look. Towns, wait, look. Three-pointer misses, and Carter Jr. will have his first rebound of the night. Here's Wagner, he finds Suggs with a shot, and a layup goes in. He has his second bucket, and as for Wagner with the, re with the assist, he's got one. He might be looking for two more if he's going to get one. Here's Edwards on the outside, trying to look for some quick motion run. He goes over to get the Towns. With a new change, Overhead pass to McDaniels, over Wagner. The layup is good for Jalen McDaniels. He has his first bucket now, as Cat with the first assist. Here's Orlando. They lead by three. Wendell, Carter Jr. finds Black. On a cover for Conley. On a take and bounce. The two-pointer makes it in for Anthony Black. He finally has his first bucket of a game, with only 4.20 to go. Here's Edwards on the back. In the chain, finding Carl Anthony Towns. Goes into the rundown, and the first foul falls on Orlando. Banchero with his first personal, and I'll be their first team foul for Orlando. Yeah, I'm not really easy enough to say because, you know, uh, this was like how much of Carl Anthony Towns has been really been keeping eyes on him. But in all that cases, he may never do anything like that. So it's going to be a lot of more takes, but it's going to be a close call when you get that free throw down. First free throw sent in for Carl Anthony Towns. And you know that tough guy there, folks, because right now Carl Anthony Towns has been the one of the biggest men in the offense. They're looking for another chance to clutch into the playoff spot. What do you think of how Carl Anthony Towns will do? Well, I may be thinking of this season, he might be going for a record big or the high angle. Because last season was definitely to be a turnout below half. Here for the part of a in-between the clutching playoff moments, they might be looking for another chance to try to stop their run. And I am not serious of how this happens. Because if there is a chance, they can go for it again. Yeah, I might have to agree on that. Because, you know, when Super Spoon has a great line, I've got a great feeling about it, fam. I might be going for our Timberwolves to get back into the playoff spot. Towns right over Machero with the layup, it's good. Cat receives his second bucket of a night, and that will be a, a one-point game. For Orlando, here's Suggs, right in the middle, go bear with the block, he has two. I don't know if you can't really make that one call, but that was really all it takes. For Rudy Gobert to block it. Oh, defenseless monstrous run. I never know how Carl Anthony does that. 
chop ball in between a Carter Jr. and Rudy Gobert. Oh, they got a little aggression out there. Be careful when you talk like that. Yeah, they, they wanted to do things. Would have missed each other. No things. The wing puts in for Rudy Gobert, and that will be Conley with the rebound. Over Black. That's rebounded in and out as Carter Jr. with another rebound. Here's Black. Do it around Conley. He loses it on the ball. Here comes the fast break with the finish drive for Conley, rejected by Wendell Carter Jr. He had his first block of the game, now finds Conley, and now over again to Towns. Towns looks forward again to Rudy Gobert. Loses it, got a piece of it this time, and he loses again. Free for McDaniels. It's good. Way outside the mark, had their first lead of the game by Gobert. First timeout call by Orlando Magic. They will have to talk things over. Just 2.42 to go. Now, I'm not really sure if you can make the call out of it, but this is what the chance is. You may have another right chose, chosen idea, but you may keep an eye on it if you wanted to keep it going. You've got to have to their timeouts, and you've got to fill up your Gatorades. That's what everybody does. I never know how much they are doing it, but the appreciation, it's because of what they have done. A lot of temptation out there. Might do it again more than anybody. New substitution coming on the court for Minnesota and for Orlando. As Jonathan Isaac is not in the starting group, but he's back with us for Orlando Magic. Let's have a look right now for Carl Anthony Towns. His free throw percentage of the season has to turn out to be the lead over Joel B. You know, his comfortable scores have been turning out like he's been a great guy. I know that it really turned to be like everybody favorite for Cat, but hey, let me tell you this. If Cat doesn't have a free throw, he can do it again. I may not know how this is going to happen like that. Maybe everybody really wants him. They've got a great figure. Here's Cat. Wow, what a great layup in there. That will be the third bucket of the night after Alexander Walker. Ooh, give me a break on that guy. Cat, you gotta show some response out there. Here's Anthony in the middle. Rebounded by Matatsi. Here's Anthony with another chance. Rebounded it up, another miss by Orlando. Shake Milton has it for his first rebound, rebound to find Towns. He gives it back to Milton, now over to Reed. Reed finds McDaniels. Shoots over Ingles. Tough fadeaway shot, but he makes it in. McDaniels has this, gotten his first bucket. Now he has three. And Anthony will try it out again. And this a piece. That goes to Reed with the first block. Rejection of being coming out, you're cool. I mean, you're never going to know what's going to happen now because that might be one change. You may never get there in time. Three back again to Alexander Walker and Alan McDaniels. Seven on the shot clock. Inside, it's good. Alexander Walker with a number two point, and that'll be his first. Orlando calls their second timeout. They trail by eight. A minute and five to go in the first period. They're going to need to make some new changes quickly. Always need to do something a little bit of an extra cost out there. Because if you do, you've got to pick up a solution to try to keep on going. Now, let me tell you, Chris Fetch has been the ultimate guy who really does more off for this head coach. But for a new head coach for this season, I know everybody calls, it's Sean Mosley. Now, he's definitely turning to be like, he's a part of the national and his career ethic. He's been training like one of the bestest. And I never know how much he's been training it for, but as you know, Chris has been doing a lot of his right tactical reasons. But in all that cases right now, Jamal Bosley really might have to do some a lot of respect on the changes. You may never guess it of how this turned it out when the high coach is out there. Yeah, isn't it? Well, I'm not pretty sure if this is gonna happen like that because I never know what it is. Jamal Smith Mosley might he might be able to do one of his uh, techniques. He might be figuring out another to uh, scores to go on his front. It may not be a true thing, but it's a, like a tough one if you can say it is. It's all what it counts for, but you may never get how much you do. And I may have to go with that group group, and maybe there's one of the players that can go inbound and try to take it. Maybe there's a great change. 
Hopefully, they might keep on going. For the NBA ranks, they look like they are getting a lot of the great, great techniques and their scores for Timberwolves. They're ranking up their position and they are looking for another chance to get back in for another clutching win of the season. Here's Anthony for three. Misses on the outside as Alexander Walker will have his first rebound of the game. We're under a minute right now with just, um, with just 17 this nine run. And McDaniels on the outside, covered up by Ingalls. McDaniels decides to give it to Reed. Just down to six in the shot clock. McDaniels in the middle. The two is good. McDaniels has his third bucket. That will be nine. And Reed with the essence. No, oh, nothing that you can call that because a Reed definitely does it. Whoa! Isaac just slammed that down. That will be the first bucket for tonight. You know that Jonathan Isaac you guys been doing? He's gotten great at it. Here's where you find Milton and now it looks to McDaniels. Give it back over to the Alexander Walker. Great pass movement here for Minnesota Waltz. And a layup is good. McDaniels with his fourth. That'll be 11 points in the game. And Anthony on his way down. 10 seconds in the first. Try to look for a pace to beat the other. And that will miss here. Orlando is just trying to trail him down, and they are trailing by 10. Minnesota by 10, 21 11 score. We'll take a quick break, and we will come back right after this. Rudy Gobert on a big block to found. He's been playing big. You can't get rid of him. That's what Rudy does. Take it out. Just tuning in for the second period, we got their live action here at Amway Center. Now, this is tough to say what Minnesota has been doing it all about. They've been like trying to like keep them eyes out of sight, but they're not always a defenseman and they're trying to do this again. How does it really encourage you how they have their team down, I guess? Well, maybe one thing at a time because I may never know what is going to happen. Like, from Orlando Magic, they have been losing this because the last season was not that impossible. They've been really been striking their heads right away, and they really need to do something else about it to try to make them go for and get the payoff for Mitch. Well, they made one take, but it may not be that hard enough if you wanted to, like, try to make a stop out of it. And if you do, you've got a bad feeling of what you did. Step back with a two, it's good! There's Fultz, that's his first bucket of the night. He's looking to get two more. Oh, that's what Fultz does. I've never seen how much he does, but that's a great way to make the offense out of it. Edwards find Anderson. Anderson looks to Edwards. He goes right back again to Alexander Walker. Did you go over Wagner? That tough shot releases here as Wagner didn't get that rebound here. Walker has his second bucket of a night. They go up in the lead here with 13. Spin the move. Oh, folks make that creation spin and in the paint drive for two. He's looking like he wants to go from in between directional. How can you make that move? Here's Conley, pass to Edwards. They lead by 10. Conley, get back to Alexander Walker. Looks over again. Three pointer for Edwards. Miss outside. First miss goes up for, for Minnesota. And Fultz on his way down. Looks again at the bench arrow. Bench arrow, screen on Wagner. He checks it. With the layup, it's in reverse and makes a draw. Their lead is cut down by eight with 5.11 to go. Here's Conley, pass to Edwards. Edwards gives a swing off to Anderson. He now gives to Conley to go around it. The two point of connects makes it work. Conley gets his second bucket of the night and they're back up by 10. Now, Fultz will have to take his time out here with just under five minutes to go. Well, you gotta make some quick break. If you need to do some changes, go right away. Well, it looks like we're getting up close right now, and this one is gonna be all for an Anime Sanity Invitational of the season finale, and I hope you all enjoyed it, and I can't tell you 
how much has been a blast for this game out there. You know, everybody? Because that is what everybody does. Well, I've never seen how that much they've been after you guys made a rejoin. And it's all thanks to Silver Spoon who made it into the final three. I always can appreciate you. You've always been a great day with you. With you, Cappy, and Nickel. Sorry, Balloon. Sorry if I'm making a connection out of it. You know, I don't really pay attention to it. I just really want to just find out what it is now. But in the meantime, I really think that I might be uh, ready for anything for a new season. Do you think this will happen? Well, I'm not sure enough right now. Well, you'll see you later. Maybe the right composition will be up for anything. I might have a good chance if I want to be the next person to stay alive. Maybe I won't get eliminated this time. Well, then, we really love your professional. Plus, plus, maybe they might be thinking of me. I need to go for the first elimination. No way. Well, hopefully you might have to never change out if you want to get over this. You might have it all. For the Eastern Conference standings, Orlando is clutching in right now into the sixth seed. And it looks like they may need to do some another change out. And they're battling against the Miami and Indiana. Well, I'm looking for another change out. Maybe Indiana might be heading your way in. Pass the socks. He finds Banchero on the shot release, Ben. The layup is good. Banchero with his first bucket of the night. They are cutting back down by 12. And now Connie gives to Anderson. Now finds Alexander Walker. We have a report for Ali LaForce. And this one turned to be all everything. Because Markel folks really had done all of this routine with specializing. They might be looking for someone else to try to like cover in for the setup. The score is not turning out to be the perfect way they are doing this, but they're going to have to try to fix them up if they wanted to do it. Well, there might be one case out there and in time, maybe they want it. Ooh! What a reverse dunk, and Wagner just made an eye oop successful. Well, that puts up bench. Oh, that really is a good one to make the start run out of them. Go Bear, right around again, he makes it drive. Go Bear, that's the second bucket. And that's right now, Mike Conley with another assist. They want some revenge out there, trying to put a put back on your message. Screen up right now. Looks at it. Oh, Wagner just made two dunks in a row. Looking to get three. Well, if you know that from the Fred's Wagner, he might be looking for anything, but I am not really sure if it's going to happen like that. You're going to let him feel like you're on the loose chain. Here's a pass to Anderson. As you may have already noticed, his last game appearance was 11 points. He done great out there, just putting a win against Orlando. It may not be anybody, but how do you think this will happen if Anderson gets more? Well, it might be that occasional. I really must tell you that it's going to be a lot, a lot of changes right now. But don't let him get away with this. They might be keeping an eye on to make them go for it on their own. Maybe they wanted to do this again? Probably not. We never know what happened. Here's Edward on the outside. Neither of use a little change of out to a slow down by Manchero. Here's Gobert. Bounce pass to Milton. Looks over for two. It's good. Milton with his first bucket. And Gobert with the assist. Gobert may have a comfortable feeling right now, but it may be too soon enough if you're going to leave it out. Block the pass, and it's stolen by McDaniels. Here they come on a fast break. And that scores in for Shake Milton. That will be a second bucket after McDaniel's assist. You know, you're never going to get that one in time. You just got to, like, show them off, like, who you got. The feeling you have a lot of pressure on them, you got to make them feel like that you're on the line. Here's Wagner with the spin across. And, oh, go back! Just got three blocks in a row. How do you stop that guy? Oh, come on. I've never seen how well you've been doing. He's been a trade for basketball for years. Years? Can't say never. New Grand Line substitution for the Orlando Magic as Jonathan Isaac and Joe Ingles, the new all the other players, have checked in. With two minutes remaining in the first half. Here's Ingles. Will he get it? Try to make the shot. No, he does not make the shot. That misses again. 
Well, he's trying to concentrate that one a little more on me. He's getting in the way. Just too much defender to cover. Here's Gobert. Around, go around angles. It's good. Rudy Gobert has his first bucket. And they're back up by 10. You know, his career high status has been turning like he's like a biggest pro. Do you think that he will be the best defensive player of the game of the year? I might so. I might be looking for him. Well, there may be one thing that, that Rudy Gobert can de definitely change it off. Having trouble looking for Isaac. Ingles. Will he make it? Another miss by Orlando. That will be another miss for Joe Ingles. And it's him as Anthony gives it back to Milton. Here's McDaniels. Way on the yard. And makes the three as Edwards has his first three-pointer of the night. And oh boy, the fans are not liking their call. They do not like Minnesota. Well, maybe it might be a rival team. Maybe they don't know. It might be one player or one other. Edwards finds Towns. He looks over again to Gobert. Tries to go for a slam. Brings back to McDaniels. Here's a three for Milton. And that one way off the mark. And a defensive recovery by Batatze. Angles on again to McDaniels. 25 seconds left in the first half. Looks to go over and there's the foul. That goes to Rudy Gobert with his first personal. First team foul again for Minnesota with 21.9 seconds. Now number free throw trip coming to the free throw line will be Orlando Magic as Beyonce at the free throw line shooting two. Never say never. Beyonce may be looking to get a free throw. He might want to get a close game. Free New substitution coming in as Reed will be checking in for Gobert. And right now for Orlando Magic, Black and Wendell Jr. coming in for a new line change here for Orlando Magic on Anthony and Isaac. And it's a free throw. One out of two position right now in the free throw, so now here comes another one for Milton. He get past to McDaniels. He now looks over to Milton and now finding again to Edwards. Stepping up the pressure and he finds Milton. Milton finds Cat. Looking over to be Beyonce. It's good! Cat has got his fourth bucket to end the first half with a 40 to 26 run. Not in my watch for Cat! And that ends the first half of the period. So far, Minnesota on a start round with 40 to 26 as we send down to Allie LaForce. Stay tuned, a halftime show is up. Allie? Carl, you were able to build the lead, but what's the key to maintaining it or even increasing it going forward? We don't change what we're doing. We stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. Consistency is a beautiful thing. Thanks, Carl. All right, thank you so much, Ali. See you later, folks. Halftime show is on. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Bernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Minnesota out in front of the half. They lead by 14. Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the open attempt, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us, we can only beat ourselves. And Shaq, let's get your input on the magic. It's their defense that put them in this fight. Even though it's easy to all over the place, let them have you a uh, game plan in place. Check out the field. Uh, well, that's not going to cut it, man. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Uh. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, we welcome you back at Amway Center. We're about to kick off the third quarter. We're all in for a good hands to start things off here for all of McDaniels who really got a great point to take the start out of it. You know how impressive how this guy has been turning out. 
He's only has 11 points. Only 11 rebound and 2 assists. He might be going for 5 for his record of his NBA career. And he might be doing it much again. Well, I might be saying because there might be a one-way struggle, they might be looking for another career step up to make the win. The foul will be have to be called here. Wow. I don't believe it. Well, that starts going to be a turnover for the Minnesota, and that will be Orlando Ball. Anthony Edwards has checked in for Reed. And now here's Wagner. He will have his ball possession. Screen coming for the Magic. On a layup, oh, it's four in a row for Rudy Gobert on their way down for the attacking to the win. Oh boy, I can't tell how much he is. He's that good? How strong is he now? Huh? You're never gonna mess him up anyway. <laughs> well, don't mind that. You know the thing. I get it now. And he makes a dunk out of it. What a slam down for Will Carter Jr. And they just got their back down to go for it. And Charles with the steal will never turn over for Minnesota. Here's Black to the middle. The step back and bound is good. Black has finally get his second bucket of the night. There are four turnovers in between of Orlando and for Minnesota. But there might be a, a leading turnover there next if there's more. Well, not really close enough if you want to take over the lesson from here. You might have to keep it out. Here's Conley with a driving bounce, loses it, and that ball will keep it alive for Minnesota after a last touch by Carter Jr. Rudy Gobert has a great percentage here for the field goals and for the last two weeks. He had made that with 71 percentage, but he might be turning it over if he wants to get it going. You know you see everything about him because of uh, Rudy Gobert. He really had made that change. But it's not for a lot of most concerns who are really over this. And maybe to turn things out, it's all for Rudy Gobert. After playing with the Jazz, then he has a lot of them to take the advantage out there with all the, the attacks. That might be one thing. Oh, wow. Wagner, slam that down, baby. That's going to be another attack. You know he never going to get there out. Rudy Gobert swings to Conley, bounce pass to Edwards. Edwards trying to pull around the baseline. It's good. Anthony Edwards has his second bucket of a career. He's got five. Well, Anthony Edwards may be doing it for a lot much of himself, but hopefully on that occasion, we'll see how it does. Now he pops to Benchero. For the attacker, a good D by Rudy, but the putback in works for Carter Jr. He has another two point bucket, another rebound pick. It's a 42-34 game with five minutes going by. Here's a three for Conley. That one misses off in and out. Now he finds nuts. For the Timberwolves, he only has four. By looking to get another two-point bucket score or take the three. He goes to, to Banchero. He gets a fade and he just stops on Pat. And he finally had that bucket. And Snacks with a recess. Well, not a choice if you want to take the advantage out of it. you got to stop and show them. Here's Edwards. He finds again the Conley and now Gobert. Now rolls back to Conley. Conley looking for a switch. He finds over to Edwards for three. It's good. He has that three-pointer now after assisted by Conley. And he's got a number three. Well, it might be comfortable now. I mean, he only has two. Might need to keep that one out of here. Here's Banchero. Good team by Pat. Two point rebound. Won't take enough. Black will have to reset it again to Wagner. Shot clock to six. And that reach and foul called on Pat. He tried to attempt it, but the foul got it. With a new substitution, Anderson and of course, Alexander Walker's having a game for Cat. That's what uh, Orlando Magic's are also making switches. Carter Jr. and Black are checked out as Anthony and Wagner moves over. Now, here's Wagner. He finds to Anthony. Screen on Manchero. And a rejection by Anderson. He has his first block of the game looking for another block in his career. Well, that's a first block. I never got that with I in attention. Well, that speed, it looks like they're going to have to change that one up out of here. Maybe a 2 on one You never know. The pass back to Edwards. Finds a two. 
and that one gets out of the way out of a miss by Minnesota. They're losing a lot of percentage out there. They don't get the two players they're going. They got to do something else. Wagner, one hand, dump down. The Magic are feeling power, and they are coming back in to cut down their scores in half. Here's Anderson in the corner. He finds Rudy Gobert. Pushes up. The two. Good D by Wagner. Well, you're never going to know that Wagner makes that slam down. But after with the great defense, he might be stepping it up to himself to give him another attempt. Here's Benchero on Anderson. Anthony, toward the outside. Benchero with the screen. No offensive foul on Orlando. Three for Benchero. Missed again. That one takes another rebound for Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert receiving his, his number curricular with two rebounds this game. And Conley back again to Alexander Walker. Walker trying to look for open space. Conley for three. And it's good! Alexander Walker receiving his third assist of the night. What a game switcher. That one may be the tough to be the turnout and go with Conley on the three-pointer. You never know who's going to get that one instead. Timeout called by Orlando with 2.14 left to go in the third period. And this one is coming to be an extension by 10. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by... Adidas. AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. And by American Express. Don't let life without it. Some changes for the, uh, for the for the Minnesota and for Orlando. That's a couple players are checked out, and a new change up here on the court. Harris is in the corner right now. Hasn't scored anything with uh, an only full swap uh, bench points. Anthony tries it and trying to make the three. Won't work. And there is a rebound. That's Wagner who picks up a number two pointer. He's at number two in this game with under two minutes remaining. Down by eight. Now Conley will swing it over now to Alexander Walker. He finds Reed. Reed looking for a cut bound. Alexander Walker. That connection goes off the rim. You're not going to shoot well if you know how to play basketball. Here's Anthony, he finally gets his bucket, and folks with the assist. That's what happens now, you don't make a move out of it. Well, he finally done it again, now it's for Anthony. He's finally picking that one up, and I've got a great feeling for him. Milton towards the corner, now finds Anderson, looks over to Conley. Conley trying to step in bounds to pass off to Reed. Fades a shot, three-pointer for Milton. That one missed up wide. Now go back the airways, folks. 43.8% for the rebound, trying to pick up again. And another two-pointer comes in. He finally has his bucket down. And as for himself right now, folks with a number of six, we are under a minute remaining. Here's Conley with a cut amount. Looks to Milton with a new change up. Alexander to try to do for three. It's good. Alexander Walker has seven points in the game. And doing another three pointers on this attack. They're going everywhere and they're not one going back. They might be sure shifting in between them. They might have a go with the circular curricular motion, but they're doing it right. And Anthony makes a three. They're cutting it down. They're getting it a close game out of it. They try to stumble down. Here's Milton. He finds Anderson. Anderson pulls away over Wagner. Good. D, nice takedown, defense, and now back to Harris. Oh, he's better than being out there all night. He's trying to get the D to try to stop him down. And this get back to Reed. Here he comes. New pointer will carry in for Reed. He has his first bucket, and he finally has it in the third quarter. Here's Anthony. Time ticking down. Three pointer misses. And that will end the third quarter. 53 to 47 to score. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back here for the fourth quarter. They're trying to fight one back, but don't give up. 
The game's not done. We will be right with you shortly after this. And we have a moment now to reveal your State Farm Assist of the game. Now here's the key with the simple, I'm really I'm just checking on them. They really have been going a lot of great percentage out there. When you give that pass off to make the foul, you get that connection out there and you give them go. They really are doing a lot much better out there. And for McDaniels, he does the thing. Glad you have us back here with the fourth quarter about to begin. They are just cutting it down right now by hoping to look for their lead for their first time tonight in the fourth quarter. Here's Black, he gets off to Ingles, and right now we're all set for the final quarter period. Here's Reed, he has it over across with the rebound. But it's kindly right toward a point guard. Ben McDaniels, he's with right now with Joe Ingles. Then across here is Edwards, and finally is Pat on Wendell Carter Jr. Ben Chero is also with Anthony Black. Then from, from here we have Snugs, and last but not least, we have it all coming in for you. It's all for everything. A window Carter Jr. Another two point bucket scores, and now he gives off to Ben Chero. From baseline, no good. Rebound again. Two that can take. Good. Window Carter Jr. with the assist, and Ben Chero putting another two point bucket in. Kiss Conley, their team is trailing by six. Now I'll get back to Edwards. Here's Conley. Cap decided to give up the screen. Avoids it. Double bounce pass. Reed steps back. He finds McDaniels. Stepping bound for two. It's good. McDaniels with 15 points. And they are up ahead by eight. I don't know if I wouldn't trust that, guys. They're not even out says percentage how all you think. You may want it, but I don't think you're going to have it. Here comes Anthony, to Anthony Towns. Cat receiving over to McDaniels. He now points to Conley. Conley back to McDaniels. Daniels on the rebound. The layup. Good D. And the re offense rebound recovers. Edwards with the step up. The two's good. Anthony Edwards with 10. And they're up again by 10. Well, they're all facing that one here because of McDaniels. He really had that two-pointer. It's just a lot of hard to maintain it and responsible, but they're just doing a lot as much as they can. I can't really tell them how. They've done best. The ball stolen, and Conley's on his way down with the finish, and he scoops it in. That one takes another two-pointer and another turnover for Orlando. They had five. They're in trouble now. They've got to do some help out there. Calling for backup. He now finds Ingles. Ingles trying to get the snugs for three. Misses from the outside and there's no free pointer to get back in. Here's Conley. He now gives off to Edwards. Three. Over and about. Fouls pick on Carter Jr. 4.17 left to go in the fourth quarter. Just a 61-49 game. Now, I never say that Nas Reed was going to be able to take that two, but it seemed like he was going to be off the target. But not to say how much has ever been concerned. They're just kind of like, keep it out. No question, you can't just let it get away with it. Now a free throw attempt coming up for Minnesota as Reed is at the free throw line shooting two. They're trying to get a free, feel the uh, free throw percentage, but they're doing a lot harder than they can. They're just doing it like a hard one to maintain it. Right between the Minnesota, they just got a lot of free throws coming down. They might be doing a lot of change up in this moment, but I may be thinking of what could they do now. That's a question. Joe Ingles is checked out as Wagner checks in. That's what you can't tell right now because of Nas Reed, he does have it all. But that defensive bird can't really stop and fool him. Wow, Manchero made that one and dunk. What a great pass here for the Magic Star. They're getting another assist run, and here's Anthony Towns. He finds Conley, loses the ball, holds on tight, and it's Edwards within corner. 
He finds Cat to shoot from the arc. He misses again, another miss by Minnesota. You're not going to get that helpful enough, and they're not going to make that one easy. Screen on Carter Jr. with a shot. Oh, what a take here for Anthony Black. He made a number two, and he's looking to get more. They are down by ten. Conley finds again to McDaniels. Under 3.30 left to go, we get back to Devin Conley. We'll have to swing off to Edwards, trying to look for motion. Now he finds McDaniels. Get back to Conley. He swings to Cat. Will he take the number two? Yes, he can! Cat just got ten points. He really nails it. Oh my, I never know how Cat does that. Carl Anthony Towns, that's the name. Here's Stunts in the corner. Wack number three. It's good. Snatch makes a number six, and now back again to the Wolves. They will take their timeout with 2.47 left to go. Well, they're always going to come down to this. They're going to have to find out how they're going to do it. It's going to be a lot harder than they're taking. And let me say here, guys, because this one may be a great opportunity range. We've seen them back playing in the NBA playoffs of the season because Miami Heat beat against the Orlando Magic. It was the Florida showdown that they were doing it all, all along. Do you think this will happen again? Well, I don't think so. I, I think it may not be a Florida showdown because their conference run has been picking up their a lot of intentional run. You know what I'm saying? Because they really are trying to like leave the heavy mark out of here. They were underneath the surface. They might be playing up here way too many times. I have a bad feeling because there might be one change up another. It might be one way step to a closer victory run. If they stay alive here, then they can get to the playoffs. If they don't, then that's it. Then the game's over. They're already playing play in tournaments run, so this could be a chance to get back into the game. And what about you, Silver Spring? Do you think you're on that? Well, I'm not sure how well the Orlando Magic will do. Well, they're not a lot of great players in between. They're fighting for it, they're under the slur. They gotta do something else. Now it's time to present your three, your New Balance player of the game. And the game of the night goes to Mike Conley. Mike Conley is the only biggest player of this one, and I know he has been a best to the best. Not just for everybody else who was concerned about how Mike Conley did, but with his dynamic duo with Rudy Gobert, he has a great effort. Been true to me, Mike Conley always remembered, with all great percentage. Here's Rudy Gobert as Ali LaForce has it across to the top of his head coach for the Minnesota. He has been turning in with a lot of his intentional work to go with their offensive strides. They are just trying to make that one maintain us. Chris Finch really got turned it up to help the teams. But they were not doing it importantly, but they've got to do something else about it. They've been doing a lot of training here before their game time, and their offseason was turning to be very on struggle. But they finally haven't recovered here, and they wanted to do it again. Well, as I might say here before, they were just going to get a lot of, like, a hard response. The hard contact and maybe a really, like, a lot of change-off in between. You may never know how this is going to happen, because when you play for Minnesota, you got to think of it quickly. And that's what happens to them. We're just trying to keep an eye on them. Another foul on Orlando and another free throw coming up for Minnesota, as Cat is at the free throw line. There's another a lot of fouls been taken here for Orlando Magic, for sure. Just only 2.37 left to go. Easy enough to me, I have no overconfidence in my feelings. There's going to be one way to stop. Okay, here's the first free throw. You know my attempt to this guy? I have some pain responsive enough if he, if he can try to make advantage to the next round. If they don't get there, well, there might be bad luck out there. Because you may never know. How's this going to happen? Second free throw good for Cap. He finally gets his second bucket with 12 points. Magic trailing by 13. They'll use their timeout before two minutes appears. And just around the corner, we've got a post-game show coming up here for Orlando and Minnesota. That's right guys, I have a little bit of a confidence in this feeling. 
So there might be one way to go for a step to one place to another, and we'll find out how will they get their response here with their goals and their range and definitely take them all. We'll find out how they do of this period. Back to you guys. All right, thank you so much. Because right now with just only one last possession to take here, right now as they go back to it with, a, with the strategy, they're going to need a lot of changes to get there through. Well, it might be a tough way to do this. And you know, I have no, uh, no, um, no question to ask. Maybe there might be a change up if the Orlando Magic can try to sweep their run. Maybe their offensive st strategy may be good, but I don't know if they're going to like keep it alive or not. Because there may be a change up that could be a way out of town. Just believe in them. Just do their trust that they would, and hopefully they'll get it done fast. New substitution coming in, as right now there's lots of new changes here for the offense to pick up their run. Now, here's Anthony. He's on currently on a breakaway. Oh, Rudy Gobert! He finally have his new NBA career record! Five blocks. Oh, I have the strategy on that one here, because if Rudy Gobert, he's been knocking out of it, he's just doing a lot of changes here. I am impressed of how he does. Bench hair over two. Misses. Rebound by Carter Jr. is good. Make that slam dunk here. They are back down by ten. And hopefully enough, they're going to keep it alive. Here's Conley. He finds McDaniels. He now gives out to Conley. Swings over to Edwards to Rudy Gobert. Gobert finds Conley. Conley makes a switch. He finds Edwards. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Looks at Cat. Goes for another two. It's good. Carl Anthony Towns on fire tonight. And Conley with the assist. This could be another upset of the feeling. I have a personal response. Not a choice you can't make. Almost lost the ball here. And Stutz recovers. With a two. Rebound. Carter Jr. does it again, they're back down by nine. All the fans may be looking for another takedown defense. Here comes Gobert with a two. It's good. He has eight points. They're back up by 11. Nothing to say now. Rudy Gobert wants to end their game with a victory win for away games. Here's Anthony. The layup is good. They are back down by nine, looking for more. Here's Conley. He passes out to Edwards. It's out of bounds, and he doesn't have the right possession to take. It goes back to Orlando Ball. Well, there's a bad response out there. You're not going to get away with this, but you don't have the right one to have it all when you're paying attention to the ball pass. 115 left to remain in the fourth quarter with a screen. Here comes to Anthony. The two misses. He missed again. They're going back the airway, and now Conley will have a take. One minute remaining in a four. McDaniel sweeps him up. Looks at Barney to Conley. Now he gives a pass to Edwards. On a drive? Oh my! Edwards had 12 points in his game. He's on a switchback rail. Well, might be one take if you want to keep an eye on him. That might be one chance. We so don't have that one to take a cover. Carter Jr. Two pointer misses again. Gilbert gives it to Edwards. And now he gives off to Cat. Step up to good. He has 16 points this game. Big sender run 75 over 62. 30 seconds remaining in a fourth quarter. With a break amount, pass off to Carter Jr. Good D by Carl Goodbear. And that will do their end of the game, and they don't need to shoot. Well, that's what they do because they always wanted to shoot it down. They've got a lot of things to go with the carry, and they wanted to end it here. Good night, Orlando. And that will end the game. Final score as Minnesota destroys Orlando, 75 to 62. That's whatever happens. Happens. They've got a lot of it to cover down. And we have a chance now to catch your sideline report, Ali LaForce. Ali. All right, and with Carl Anthony Downs, Carl, congratulations on the victory. What was key in getting the win here tonight? Uh, I mean, just played like we wanted them all. You know, 
know, we came out here and we just did a lot of great defensive stops. It wasn't offensive, it was more defensive. We did a great job. We got the 50-50 balls, uh, put us in a nice position. We can see and feel that desperation. Congrats on the win. Thank you so much, Riley. Along with me, fan Silver Spoon and Cool Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA 2K Sports. You have been watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time, everybody. All right, thank you guys so much right now. We couldn't afford with Minnesota to kick off their road win against their home team. This ultimately a comparison range. I have no other choice what they have done. But this is what they do, they done best. Here's what they did with the total games. 67, 45% and 10, 100% from free throws, three pointers and field goals was putting up for Minnesota of the night. Six fast break points was turned to be a close victim on the run. They've done great. Now their Orlando Magic on the other side, they've got points in pint, second chance points and bunch points for 48, 12, and 18. They're doing really much out there, but just to keep in sight, they've gotten really tough at it. Now on the other side, assist has been pointed up for 28 for Minnesota. Offense rebound did turn out great for Orlando Magic, but defense rebound was only 19. Four steals, seven blocks, five turnovers for Minnesota, and it was only three team fouls for Minnesota. They've done great enough to keep avoiding the tackle. The fall down, the tight down for 10 dunks for Orlando Magic, 14 biggest lead and time possession for 1501 for Minnesota. So that will do here and now your three star player of the games are on the board. Take it away, Wood Spoonie. Alright, thank you so much here. I've got appreciation to start off for number three. First up on the for the first side, Anthony Edwards with 12 points, one rebound. Four assists and a steal. He only had a great 20 performance run, only with five out of seven field goals and two three pointers were made. Just turning out there absolutely how much he's been incredible for a night. Just keep it on going. Now for number two is Jaden McDaniels. 15 points, two rebounds and two assists. He's only got 19 performance run. He's gotten a lot of a great setup try and only had that one one three pointer made. Just have a lot of him courtesy to take all with the assists. Might be doing three more to take. And for your number one star of the game, unfortunately Mike Conley never received it, but only got a new balance player of the game. But number one star all goes to Carl Anthony Towns with 16 points, three rebounds, three assists, and only 22 performance run. He's gotten a tough score to keep it out. That is a tremendous play, and I've got a great feeling to see him back with the All-Star Game. Yep, and that's right, the All-Star Game is going to happen right now, because at this point, we are finally taking a break. Oh yeah, we, we are finally on the break right now. I hope you enjoyed games 1 through time. We'll be back with Game 11 after the All-Star Game. So if you like what we do, please leave a comment down here below if you have any recommendation that you want me to do. Also, you can follow me on my social media on X, Instagram, and TikTok on the About page section. And also, leave a like button and subscribe to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. And that means you who are watching, I'm begging you to please subscribe now. Yep, that's what we all do for. We already, I have already made it to 500, but let's keep pushing to 600. That's a good thing. And for the meantime, and as all of being said, your Son of Beast along with Wood Spoonie, I am your host, and with the sidetrack as well. Peace out folks for a while as the NBA 2K24 dial on 2K Sports. See you all later for the All-Star Game on the other side. And we'll see you all for the next rival week of NBA and NHL. See you again real soon. Good night, everybody, and have a great day. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.